something that I talked to Tyler about was the ed- editing videos and editing podcasts because I, I don't edit mine mostly because I just like the sound of my own voice. So I found it really difficult to listen to when I first started. And then that just became the, just the regular was not editing it. And mm-hmm. I talked to him a little bit about yours because I was like, I've been listening to this podcast lately and I really like it. And sometimes she edits things and I really, there are points where you're talking about something and then you shift to another idea through an edit. And I really want to know what's in the middle there <laughs> because I love watching as a conversation evolves and the, the different forms that it takes over times and how ideas come to, to switch it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like, mm-hmm. it's like watching a flower bloom, but it's like watching a flower be one part and something to do with conversation is you watch a flower as it's a pod. And then mm-hmm. the next thing, you know, like it's, it's green in its pod. And then the next thing, you know, it's this big, beautiful red hibiscus flower and you go, well, how the hell did that happen? And that's something that I sometimes think when I listen to yours is <laughs> well, we were just a green pod and now we're in the middle of this thing. <laughs> and it's the gorgeous. Lights on. Yeah. Exactly. Right. <laughs> the, the editing for like, that is something that like, um, I don't know if you, if you've heard through the podcast, like when I first started, it was highly edited. I never spoke. I never shared any personal information and it's something I really let go of now. And I find that often the only time I do edit now is for, moments like that when I ask oh did you edit or or if my guest because okay so this is something do you want me to go on this do you want me to yes, riff please, on this please, please. okay um because it's something I've thought about quite often as well I have another friend who has a great podcast um very similar to mine we interview similar guests he doesn't edit his either and so um we've talked about this many times and I found for myself for the I've chosen for right now, who knows, I might change my mind, but for now I've chosen the option of editing my podcast over not in hopes of connecting deeper with my guests. Because at the end of the day, my main intention with the podcast is to connect with someone else on a deeper level, regardless of anyone listens to the episode or not. And so I often find that, and and maybe it's, maybe this is just my own interpretation, but the guest knowing that if say, if you say something wrong or, or say you say something too personal that you don't feel comfortable sharing on the podcast, if someone else's narrative is involved, I can edit it out if that makes sense, because Mm -hmm. I find oftentimes my guests open up a bit more and will even have like kind of off the air conversations of like, Hey, like don't put this in. Um, but yeah, I do think that there is so much strength and there is so much positive to just keeping the conversation whole organic and, and hearing the evolution. So I try to keep it to a minimum now, but yeah, it took me a while to get to that point. No, that is so reasonable. And I do really like that perspective of, because I think that, that there's, a, there's an inkling of honesty that comes along with that, where if someone's able to share in a conversation with you rather than a bunch of guests, which is, I think the, the best podcasts that I have are just a conversation with an individual rather than me putting on a performance for a bunch of for faceless audience. beings that I'm going to be, yeah. they're going to be listening. Exactly. And so <laughs> I, I do, I do really expect, I respect that, that philosophy a lot. I think that that's actually really mm-hmm. cool. Thank you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It took me a while to really suss it out and like see what worked for me. And that's where I'm at at the moment. 